Welcome back my art friends. Today we are going to paint a cute little Easter bunny. Um, you're going to need your medium flat brush. I use a 3 4 inch brush and a medium and small round brush. This one right here is a um, number one and this one right here is a number seven. So don't forget to have a rag, a water cup ready and the colors you're going to need are yellow, white, green, blue, pink, and black. So let's get started. We're gonna paint our sky first. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna cover our brush with white paint. And we're gonna grab just a corner of blue. So I don't want a whole lot of blue in here. And about three fourths of the way up the canvas is going to be the sky color. So three fourths of your canvas, you're gonna color in this light blue color. Remember, almost no blue, mostly white. sure when you're finished that you smooth out all your lines left to right right to left and you don't want it to be so blended that you lose all of these great sky colors so I like that there's some dark and some light and then go ahead and wash your brush off and we are going to lay in our grass color now this is an Easter picture so we're gonna do spring grass which is a light green grass so I'm gonna do again white on my brush but this time it's going to be about 50 50 so half my brush is green half my brush is white and everything down here we're going to paint in with that light green color brush and wash it off and then while my ground is still a little bit wet I'm gonna take some green and I'm just gonna pull some lines of green up I like to start in one area and kind of pull those up going in like a little flared out look and I'm gonna keep this space over here open because this is where my bunny is gonna go All right, we're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we will lay out our bunny and our Easter egg. With a dry background, we are now gonna lay out where our rabbit is gonna go. Let me bump you up a little bit. Um, I actually switched to my number 10 round brush and I'm gonna use some white paint. So I'm gonna start over here with a circle. Okay, and the circle is a pretty big circle. And then in front of that circle, like in the top right corner, I'm gonna add another circle. So now it looks like I've got a number eight that's kind of rolling over on its side. From here, I'm gonna add a small little roller coaster that goes up to the top of my canvas. And when I bring that back down, it's just gonna get fatter. I can paint all of these spaces in white. feet I am going to make a rectangle so it's gonna be his little bunny foot right there and then right back here I'm gonna put a small little circle for his cotton tail 
one last bunny part is I'm going to make um, a second ear and it's going to be right here and it's just going to be a little arch kind of filling in this extra space now we do want to kind of remember where our lines are so I'm going to mix up some really 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 light gray paint so I'm going to use a lot of white and a little bit of black to mix up some very light gray paint on my small detail brush and I am going to outline his ears so that I can kind of remember where his ears are on here. I'm going to outline his head and I'm going to outline his body. foot in the front and his cotton tail. Great, now we're going to let this guy dry a little bit and while he's drying we're going to add some flowers in the background and of course we have to hide an Easter egg or two in our grass. So if you have a spot that's still slightly open for an Easter egg to go, you are going to simply draw an Easter egg and what that is is it's a circle shape at the bottom it comes up to a pointed, you don't want it to be a super big point, so you do want to kind of smooth that point out a little bit, let it be a rounded point, just like that. I'm gonna lay down a couple of Easter eggs in my grass. Some can be standing up, some can be laying sideways, but we'll add color to them later. brush with some green paint on it and I'm going to make a few tall skinny lines for my flowers to go on. I'm going to take both green and yellow on my brush to make my leaves and these are going to be tulips. I'm going to make some nice thick leaves. that are going to attach themselves to the stem of my flower. picture dry and we come back we are going to add in some more details okay so with a dry painting we are going to start adding in some of our final details um, I'm gonna start first with my pink paint because we have a lot of places we can use our pink for example we can paint in the back part of this ear right here with some pink paint. Now if your pink's a little bit too bright and vivid like mine is, you can add some white to that to soften it up. I'm also going to use this color to add in my tulips. So 
I have one, two, three, four, five tulip stalks, and I am going to make the letter U shape on each one of these. And I'm gonna zoom you into one of my flowers so you can see how we're gonna make them, and then I want you to make all of your flowers. So to make our tulips, what we're gonna do is we are gonna take our letter U and we're just gonna kind of fill it in. Don't worry too much about the top yet at this point. And you can make your bigger tulips larger, your smaller ones smaller, it's up to you. Wipe my brush off, but don't wash it off. And I'm gonna go in with some white paint and I'm gonna just kind of pull some of those colors up without really mixing them too much. And this is where you're gonna look at the top. As I pull these colors up, I'm going to let it go off the top of my W, my W, my letter U shape, so that you can kind of see some of that feathery top that is our tulip. Now, if you want to get real fancy schmancy, you can even throw some yellow in there. But don't get too crazy with the yellow. But feel free to mix your colors up. Look at some tulip colors online and see what colors you want your tulips to be. So then when we zoom this out, oh, one more thing I like. And then you want to put a little bit of green at the bottom just to show where it connects to your stem. So I'm going to zoom you out and I want you to finish up your tulips. Let's move back over here to our little bunny. Um, if you need to add a second layer of white paint, maybe you have some, some areas that show through, this is a good time to add your second layer of white paint. too. Now I want to make a blue egg but I want to make it a really light blue so I am going to add a lot of white and a little bit of blue and I'm going to paint in a light blue egg, a pink egg, and a yellow egg. Now you can add decorations to yours. Um, I'm just going to kind of keep mine simple. light so with my straight colors I've got straight blue on here I'm gonna add just a little bit of dark blue to the bottom I want to show some shadow and then I'm gonna wash that brush off and add a little bit of white to the top and I'm gonna do that with all three of my eggs I'm gonna use the base color on the bottom and just straight white on the top And 
just as we're working with some low lights and some highlights, um, that really light gray I made earlier, I'm gonna darken it up just a little bit because I do wanna add some shadows on my bunny. So with a medium gray paint, I am going to go right down here at the bottom of my bunny. Just put some medium gray on the bottom of him. I'm gonna wipe my brush off, but not wash it off. Grab some white paint and just kind of blend that color up. wipe my brush off, grab some white, and blend it down. All right, I'm gonna find my itty bitty detail brush with some black paint because I'm gonna add on our bunny's eye and whiskers. So my bunny eye is gonna be right here and it's gonna be an arch. little whiskers are going to come out right from his nose. Barely any whiskers. Maybe a couple right back here. Sometimes you see those lines, sometimes you don't. I like to call those ghost lines. With that medium gray paint and that small brush, I'm going to, this is going to sound weird, so watch it first. I'm going to start right here in the center. And I'm going to make a curved line kind of comes around my bunny. Do you see how now my bunny has a leg? How easy was that to add on? Wash that brush off. And this is the point that if you're going to add any more grass or any more details, it's a good time to do it. Maybe you wanted a piece of grass to go in front of part of your egg. You can now pull those grass pieces up on top of those eggs so that the eggs look like they are indeed hiding. You can even bring some of those grass lines up on your bunny. Don't forget when you're finished that you need to sign your artwork with a color that will show up well on your canvas. Don't forget the only way we can see what you're painting is if you post it on our Painting with a Purpose Facebook page. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you're caught up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye.